are celebrating uh, and, and showing recognition to the people who have stood up and gone to treatment and used their stories to help somebody else. Governor Bashir signed a proclamation to recognize peer supports around the state and we just wanted to give our appreciation to the peer supports in the state of Kentucky. Pretty special. And think about how many people you've helped go through. Signing that proclamation is one of the easiest things I've ever been asked to do. You think about those in, in peer support and, and helping those going uh, through treatment and into recovery is, is just a special uh, person and a special act. It meant a great deal to hear someone in the position that he's in have the understanding of the work that we do and to be able to see the impact that we're having on families inside the state of Kentucky. It was an idea that we can all, all of us as peer supports, all of us in long-term recovery can use what's happened to us to help other people and show that um, no matter what field of life you come from, you can use your experience, strength, and hope to help somebody else. You think when people come out of addiction, and into recovery, you wouldn't blame them if they would leave some of that as far behind as they could and go on to different jobs or the rest. But instead, so many people choose to walk right back into their trauma, uh, right back into um, what those tough years uh, were like to help out other people. But listen, when, when you're dealing with something as, as difficult as addiction, having somebody that's come out on the other side looking at you, encouraging you, uh, helping you is, is really special. And the folks that do this are incredibly special. When I became a beer sports specialist, there was a lot of talk about ending the stigma on addiction. And I personally believe, and this is just a belief of my own, that this, the stigma has almost been relieved. We, um, we can find jobs and we can find places for people who are recovering from addiction in the workforce and in communities. Um, we just have to get more of those people out of addiction and into those places. If by our work as peer support, if we can show others that are out there, it doesn't matter if it's the second, third, tenth time um, in treatment, just don't give up and, and there's, there's a path, there's a pathway and a purpose for everybody.